to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Forever and ever and ever you reign forever your kingdom reigns your kingdom reigns above all hey above all your kingdom reigns your kingdom reigns above all, above all. Your kingdom reigns. Your kingdom reigns above all. Yeah, yeah. Above all. Your kingdom reigns. Your kingdom reigns above all, above all. Your kingdom reigns above all, above all. Listen, in my life, in my life, your kingdom reigns. Your kingdom reign in my life, in my life. Your kingdom reign, your kingdom reign in my life, in my life. Your kingdom reign. Above all, above all, your kingdom reigns, your kingdom reigns. Above all, above all, your kingdom reigns, your kingdom reigns, your kingdom reigns. Yes, it rains in our lives. Yeah. Of the increase of his kingdom and his peace, there shall be no end.
thank you for the beauty of your presence. One generation shall declare your praise to another. From the rising of the sun to the going out of the same. Your name above every idol. Above every religion. Hallelujah. I welcome you tonight. Koinonia. God is making men, equipping us by the Spirit of God, empowering us by His anointing, teaching us His ways, causing that our eyes see. The Bible says, Jesus went with the two men at Emmaus and he said when he broke the bread their eyes were open and he quickened them and granted unto them understanding Father tonight the entrance of your word gives light and it gives understanding unto us bless our hearts and cause your word to prosper in our lives in the name of the Lord Jesus Hallelujah. God bless you. Please be seated. From everlasting to everlasting, you are God. Do not send us from here with your presence. Go ahead not with us. For how shall the nations know that we are separated? Accept your presence. Go ahead with us. In your presence, that's where I am strong. In your presence. Oh Lord, my God, in your presence, that's where I belong. I am seeking your face, touching your grace, in the left of the world, in your presence. So God, in your presence, oh God, hallelujah. Let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. Don't envy any future that you're seeing from the people in the world. Are you listening to me? No matter what their harvest looks like, we are coming. We are an inferno of food. Listen. What you are seeing is their harvest. Nobody has seen your harvest. The Bible says, Now are we the sons of God? And it does not yet appear. Let me tell you something. We are coming with a dimension of grace. A dimension of power, wisdom, audacity, light. From the Spirit. And like my brother said. He said, He that shared my sayings and keepeth them. It's like one who about to build his house on a rock first digs. He said, the remnant of the house of Jacob shall bear root downwards and then bear fruit forward. I am convinced that we will salvage our generation from the bondage of corruption. I am convinced that we are the army. <laughs> We may not look like it, but we represent a government that is able. Yeah. Hallelujah. All right, let's, let's get into the word. Hallelujah. I plan to do a teaching tonight very quickly so that we can beat time. Hallelujah. Please look up. Let's just... I'll be doing a quick teaching on the spirit of faith. Say after me, the spirit of faith. 
I need your heart to be open tonight. Hear me, friends. Because from the teaching tonight, I trust that something will enter your spirit that will set you on fire. Hallelujah. 2 Corinthians chapter 4. Second Corinthians chapter 4. Lord, we thank you. Verse 13. Second Corinthians 4. Please make sure you have something to write if you can. Hallelujah. Every time you're coming, especially if it's a teaching. Try to come with something. Hallelujah. Verse 13. It says, We, having the same spirit of faith, according as it is written, I believe. You see where we got that song? I believe. I believe. Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. Hallelujah. So I believed and therefore have I spoken. He said, we also believe and therefore we speak. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I need you to understand that the kingdom life is a faith life. Are you listening to me? The kingdom life is a faith life. God designed his system that way. God designed his kingdom that way. The Bible says in the book of Ecclesiastes, I believe chapter 10, it says the labor of the fool wearied him because he does not know the road to the city. It didn't say because there is no city. The labor of the fool wearied him because he does not know the road to the city. Hallelujah. The spirit of faith. The kingdom life is a life of faith. Hallelujah. And so it's so important because we have many citizens of the kingdom who do not understand that the kingdom life is built on faith. Hallelujah. The concept of faith is not a movement. It's our lifestyle. Are you listening to me? It's not just about word of faith or the charismatic. Or, no, 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 no. It's the life of every true citizen of the kingdom. Hallelujah. Four times in scripture, the Bible records that the just shall live by faith. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 4. Romans chapter 1 verse 17. Galatians chapter 3 verse 11. And Hebrews chapter 10 verse 38. Four times in scripture, the Bible emphasizes that the just shall live faith as a matter of fact god tied i mean the bible ties pleasing god to the manifestation of faith hebrews 11 verse 6 he said for without faith it is impossible to please god for he that cometh unto god must believe that he is he exists and then that is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him hallelujah and so it's very important for believers to understand the concept of faith Say after me, the just shall live by faith. Our victory in this kingdom is tied to faith. Our victory. You cannot live a victorious life in this kingdom and in this system without faith. It's so important. First John chapter 5 verse 4. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to rush so we cannot really do a proper bible study to look scripture by scripture but write it and study it first john chapter 5 verse 4 it says and this is the victory that overcome the world even our faith say after me faith is the victory it said this is the victory that overcomes sickness poverty this is the victory that overcomes failure this is the victory that overcomes death this is the victory even our faith so the subject of faith is so important if you want to be relevant in the kingdom. Hallelujah. Praise God. What then is faith? 
What then is faith? Hallelujah. When you go to Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1, the Bible says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Hallelujah. Please, can someone help me with money? Any amount? Just... Hallelujah. Praise God. Someone come. Anybody. Watch this. I want to show you what faith is. Look up, please. Now, I want you to know that what money is to this realm, faith is to the realm of the spirit. Look up. Just look up and let me show you something. When, assuming you want to buy water, hallelujah, and this water is 1,000 naira. When Aaron comes to meet me and says he wants to buy water, take. Have I given him water? But I have given him the substance of what he's hoping for. The evidence. This is the evidence that he will give in exchange for what he wants. Are you listening to me? So that every time he comes to the person who has water, if you can present this, if your title did, then the commodity will be delivered. So Paul says, faith is our purchasing power in the realm of the spirit. Are you listening to me? Faith is that commodity of transaction. That our legal tender in the realm of the spirit. Economists say money is legal tender. We use it for transaction. In the realm of the spirit, your faith is required to bring down any and everything. Hallelujah. So, if I want to purchase greatness according to the integrity of God's word, faith is that substance. That's the reason why when you see a man who is full of faith, that man has everything. Hallelujah. God bless you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Hallelujah. So I need us to, I want to be very practical so that we will live here and begin to command notable victories in our lives. I'll give you three quick definitions of faith. Number one, faith is your unshakable confidence. Unshakable confidence in God's word and in the integrity of his person and also in his ability. God's word, the integrity of his person. The Bible says, God, he sought for one who was greater than him so that he would swear by. And not finding any man, the Bible says he swore by himself. That by these two immutable things, it is impossible for God to lie. So faith is your unwavering, unshakable confidence. When you read the book of Romans chapter 4, the Bible gives us a, an example. It gives us the, the breakdown of the dimensions of faith that Abraham walked in. And the Bible says he wavered not at his faith through unbelief. So faith is what? Your unshakable confidence. That you say, if I perish, I perish. But I know God is able. That's why the Bible says, for I know whom I have believed. He said, and I am persuaded. I am convinced that he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him unto that day. There are many believers who doubt God. We feel that. Is God really able? He is able more than able to accomplish what concerns me today he is able he's more than able to handle everything that comes my way he is able more than able to do much more than I could ever dream to do much more than I could ever dream he's able more than able to make me what he wants me to be he's able to lead me where he wants 
me to go. He's able to teach me what he wants me to know. Show me what he wants me to see. He's able to give me what he wants me to have. He's able to make me what he wants me to be. That's faith. Your unshakable confidence that I know God is able. It may not look like it. I may not see the wind. I may not see rain. But I know that when God says there will be water, there will be water. I respect his wisdom and artistry. I know that the raw material for creating everything is called nothing. Hallelujah. So faith is your unshakable confidence. Number two, faith is your obedient response to the word of God or the voice of God. Faith is your obedient response. Your obedient response to the word of God. The written principles in the word or the voice of God as he communicates to you. Your obedient response. This definition suggests that faith is a doing thing. It's an action word. Hallelujah. Without a doing, there's no faith. Faith is what? Your obedient response. Hallelujah. Now, please, um, Aaron, can I use you again? I'd like you to just stand here. Everybody look up. Aaron, come. This is faith. Hallelujah. Repeat it again. Just stand there. Aaron, come obedient response to my word so go back now Aaron I have this for you come and take alright now but keep saying I am coming and don't come are you listening to me Aaron take keep confessing I am coming be jumping and saying I am coming. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming that's what a lot of believers are doing and they call that faith are you seeing that but they, they are not getting the promise and they are saying God you are not faithful faith is your obedient response I appreciate Aaron great guy so faith is what your obedient response when you respond to the word of God when you respond to his principles the Bible calls that faith I trust that tonight God will fix the missing link in our equation Number three, faith can also be a supernatural impartation upon you. A supernatural impartation that grants you access to function in God's capacity. Supernatural impartation. It's what the Bible calls the gift of faith. Supernatural impartation has nothing to do with your level of world life. When it comes upon anything, it will reproduce God's result exactly. Hallelujah. It's important. Look up please. Isn't it interesting that we have. When the Bible ties the victory of the kingdom to faith. There are so many believers who have never thought on what faith is. We just have an imaginary thing that okay faith is just. Faith has something to do with me and God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You'll never be victorious in life that way. Hallelujah. Out of these three definitions, the first two are my subjects of discussion, especially the second one. Faith is your obedient response. Kabo Satamaya. Your obedient response to God's word. Hallelujah. And I'm going to teach you something I call the faith equation. The faith equation. Those of you who are science students understand that 
when you add up everything this plus that plus that then you say equal to you can summarize all of those things so that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side hallelujah the faith equation let me tell you if you leave this equation your life you will be scared of your own results has nothing to do with gender are you listening to me has nothing to do with your background once you are in christ and the spirit of god lives in you and you have grace to adhere to these principles that i'm teaching you you can turn any wilderness into a fruitful man hallelujah the bible makes us to understand that faith comment how what scripture is that Romans 10 oh yeah, yeah, yeah 10. 10 what Romans 10 17 so therefore faith comment by hearing and hearing by the word of God faith does not come by reading newspaper are you listening to me I mean Bible faith I'm not talking of mental ascent there are too many believers that think they have faith but their lives obviously show that there is no faith the end of your faith is a manifestation hallelujah faith does not come by reading chase magazines faith comments by hearing and hearing by what the word of god only the word of god has the capacity to impart faith in your spirit so if you ever want to be a man or a woman of faith then you must be a man or a woman of the word if you're not a man of the word if you're not a woman of the word you can never have faith that's why i question people who i know do not stay with the word and you see manifestations in their life something is wrong somewhere faith true faith is incubated when you take in the word faith comment by hearing and hearing by the word of god so say after me faith comes into my life as i stay with the word faith comes into my life as i stay with the word there are so many people who don't even care about the word you don't buy books you don't build yourself you don't get any you don't stay at all and every time we study the word we think we are doing god a favor we are just registering our spirituality man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of god proverbs chapter 4 says my son pay attention to my words he said incline your ears to my sayings do not let them depart from your eyes keep them in the midst of your heart he said they are life to those who find them and health to their flesh they are life not to every christian to those who find them for you to find a thing you must search he said in, in Isaiah 34 he says seek out of the book and read none of these things shall fail none shall want her mate seek out of the book and read he said I Daniel understood by books there must be a seeking that's why I love that song I will search for you and I will find you it's not, it's not really that God is lost in a sense you understand but the bible says that is the glory of god to conceal a matter and the honor of kings to search it out hallelujah so there must be the word and in that word you will find two basic things number one promises two or three things really promises principles instructions promises principles instructions never forget this you will find promises you will find principles you will find instructions every time you study the bible 
whether you are reading a story you are reading the gospels you are reading the poetic books history books revelation whatever it is you will find one of these three things promises principles instructions hallelujah when you get these promises that god has spoken certain things about you in the world then you the next assignment is to get that word into your spirit and the only way you get that word into your spirit is by believing it hallelujah romans chapter 10 verse 10 for with the heart man believes you don't believe with your mind there are so many believers that believe with their mind and that's why it's not true real faith is born of the spirit for with the heart man believes unto righteousness let me tell you something every time you confess what you don't believe is the same thing as not saying anything are you listening to me there are so many believers that confess things they don't believe and it doesn't work so your first assignment it's not just to find promises and say hallelujah i am blessed i am rich calm down you've got to take it in your spirit this is where a lot of us have been missing it and how do you believe the process of believing is achieved through the means the bible calls meditation this book of the law shall not depart from out of thy mouth but thou shalt meditate there in day and night that thou mayest observe to do all that is written therein then afterwards you will have good success you, you shall make your ways prosperous and you will have not just success good success joshua chapter 1 verse 8 hallelujah and so you meditate is what we call in theology the doctrine of contemplation you think through but you're not just thinking mentally you ponder for instance when you read the bible and in john i believe john chapter uh, what now 12 or 14 it says verily verily i say unto you or let's say john 10 10 for instance it says what the thief comment not is that correct the thief cometh not to steal, but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. He said, I have come. Many of us just read and say, hallelujah, and then you pass to the next. No, you sit down and meditate. I have come. I have come. You laid aside your majesty, gave up everything for me, suffered at the hands of those you have created. You took all my guilt and shame when you died and rose again. Now today you reign in heaven and earth. Hallelujah. So you meditate, I am come. From where? And you just think true and say he left his throne and he became a man and went through all of this to give you a life and he called that life Zoe. And as you brood on it, the Bible says he looked at them and he breathed upon them and said, receive ye the spirit. While you are incubating on that word, there is a transfer of real Bible faith. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. When the word enters your spirit, the next process without your control is to speak. That's how God designed his system. The moment, how many of you have been watching something or listening to a message? Suddenly you say, Shakata, ba, 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 ba. No, it's not that you are just trying to do it. People think you are shouting. It's a response to something that has entered your spirit. Hallelujah. And so while you are meditating, the Lord begins to tell you that this is a life superior to sickness, superior to failure. And then it's entering your spirit. And then suddenly, other scriptures begin to come. Yea, do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death? 
because of this life I fear no evil for thou art with me thy rod and thy staff they comfort me thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies you anoint my head with oil and my cup runneth over and then you remember the story of Paul how that a viper beat him and he shook him suddenly faith is entering your spirit when you rise then the next process you begin to declare you begin to declare you begin to declare you confess you speak you decree Mark 11 verse 23 Jesus speaking to the tree he said verily verily I say unto you if thou shalt say to this mountain be thou removed and cast into the sea and will not doubt in your heart but believe that those things that you have said will come to pass he said then you will have it if thou shalt say not think not wish not cry not lament kings reign in a kingdom system through their words that's why the bible says where the word of a king is there is power hallelujah so i meditate on this scripture it says gentiles come to my light and kings to the brightness of my rising and when it's in my spirit i begin to speak Kabo sata gentiles come to my light there is the light of god arising in my spirit i'm not just making empty confessions they are confessions that are a response let me tell you something brothers and sisters if you shut your mouth in this kingdom you shut your destiny in the world system if you are quiet you are considered gentle the bible says a fool even when he's silent is considered wise in the kingdom system if you keep quiet you shut your mouth so that's why when satan wants to kill people he first sends depression do you know that the common characteristic of depression is it brings you to a point of silence and then satan destroys you because when you shut your mouth let me tell you as powerful as you are the principal outlet to that power is through your mouth out of your belly shall flow flow to through where hallelujah bible says in job 22 28 it says declare ye that thou mayest Okay, so uh, ye shall decree a thing and it shall be established unto you. Hallelujah. So, in the faith equation, there is speaking. Say after me, faith speaks. That you get up and call. The Bible says, let the redeemed of the Lord. It didn't say let them think so. He already called them redeemed. But he said they should say it. There's something about saying. Let the blessed of the Lord say so. Let the righteous of the Lord say so. Let the prosperous of the Lord say so. Let the anointed of the Lord say so. He said he that dwell in the secret place of the most high. Shall abide under the shadow of his wings. He said I will say of the Lord. I will say. Hallelujah. So confess, you speak, you declare. Isn't it amazing that many believers think faith and believing is the same thing? I want you to know that faith and believing is not the same. Many people have only believed and wondered why the result didn't come. Are you getting blessed tonight? faith and believing is not the same believing is part of manifesting the process of faith it doesn't stop there the last step to the faith and this is probably the most neglected friends for many of you tonight i connect that that faith equation obedience obedience not many people have been taught 
that obedience completes the faith equation obedience I told you that faith is your obedient response obedience there are very few promises in the Bible that just happen automatically are you listening to me a majority of the promises that are in scripture are tied to conditions say after me conditions they are also tied to instructions say after me instructions and until you completely obey principle and the instruction you will never get the results so there are many believers that confess i am prosperous i am blessed hallelujah things are working but it's not showing in their life Hallelujah. Deuteronomy chapter 28. Very quickly. Deuteronomy chapter 28. Help us, Holy Spirit. My faith is reaching now to you. Lord, I believe your word for me today my faith reaches out to you i believe your word for me today hallelujah deuteronomy 28 verse 1 and it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to what? to observe and to to do all, not some look up your obedience must be complete hallelujah until your obedience is complete God is not committed to perform to observe and to do all his commands he said which i commanded this day that the lord thy god this is the blessing will set thee high as i'm saying this is entering my spirit high above all nations he said and all these blessings shall come on thee and shall overtake thee if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the lord thy god many people don't read that part they just sing blessed shall you be blessed shall you be now that's wonderful but before you read before you start that part you must find out there are so many believers who just coin out a promise that suits their need and begin to pull god's neck and say god you said this god you told me i'll be rich you said the wicked will transfer their wealth to me and God says, hold on. The, the system of God has an economic system. And you must find out how it works. Are you listening to me? So, before we just begin to claim and speak scriptures, you must know that the word of God always commits you to obey. Hallelujah. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 19. He said, if ye, if, there's a condition there. If, that means it's within your power. If ye be willing and obedient. He said, you will eat the good of the land. Every land has good, including Zaria. Are you listening to me? I hear all kinds of stories and nonsense. People run to Abuja, run to Lagos, run to everywhere, run to America, run to London, run to whatever. Not because God sent them there. You ask them, where? what are you looking for? They say greener pastures. The only green pastures I know is God's word. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down. He didn't mention the name of any country there. He makes me lie down in green pastures. What green pastures are we around looking for? Everywhere in this world, disobedient people are suffering. Everywhere. So all this, all this green pasture stress that people put upon themselves, 
let me tell you a king a palace doesn't make a king if a king lives in a hut that hut will be called a palace Jesus said man was not created for the Sabbath the Sabbath was created for man there's no excuse why you should not rule and reign he said rule thou in the midst of your enemies if he be willing and what are you can you just let the people see that scripture if it's possible if he be willing isaiah chapter 1 verse 19 if ye be willing and what obedient so there's a condition that you are willing if ye be willing and what and what there are many people that are willing to be rich but the money is not coming there are many people that are willing to be anointed but they are not they are not getting an, the anointing there are many people that are willing to know god but something is wrong that's the missing link obedience he says you will eat the good of the land hallelujah so your faith is not yet complete listen faith is not just saying what god has said faith is doing what god has said all the patriarchs of old they got their their title as men of faith and men of valor because ultimately obedience brought them to that place abraham for instance in genesis 22 let's look at that very quickly genesis 22 Lord, cause our faith to come alive in the name of the Lord Jesus. Genesis 22. If you are there, say amen. amen. Verse 3. When God gave him an instruction to take his son, verse 3, he says, And Abraham rose up early. Say after me, early. Amen. Delayed obedience is disobedience in a measure. There are many people, listen. If I look up, please, let me use Shegu as, as an example. All right? Shegu, if I say stand up, just delay and then sluggishly stand up after a while. Are you listening? Stand up, there's a snake about to bite you. That's what a lot. And then they sluggish. Before you stand up, you'll be injured so bad. The Bible says Abraham rose up what? Early. There are many people that God gives instructions to and things to do. Either sow a seed, do something, pray. We, we sluggishly try to obey and during that time you suffer severe casualties that even if you have obeyed it looks like you didn't obey delayed obedience is disobedience in a measure he says so thank you sir he said abraham rose up early god said abraham take now thy son thy only son whom thou lovest and offer him as a burnt offering on a mount that i'll show you and the bible says verse 3 abraham rose up early hallelujah and then in in verse 12 let's go to verse 12 when god saw his he saw his obedience he said lay not thy hand upon thy lad neither do anything to him for now i know that thou fearest me seeing that thou hast not withheld thy son thy only son hallelujah and from verse 15 and the angel of the lord called out to abraham out of heaven the second time and said by myself i have sworn saying said the lord for because thou hast done say after me done there must be a doing because thou hast done this thing and hast not withheld thy son thy only son that in blessing i will bless you in multiplying i will multiply you and i see as the stars of the heavens and the sands upon the seashore he said and thy seed shall possess the gates of his enemies i hope you know that all these blessings came on the wings of total obedience so if you are not willing to obey god forget about faith there are so many disobedient believers show me a disobedient believer and then i show you a faithless believer hallelujah Moses Exodus chapter 40 many of us use Exodus chapter 40 in our worship meetings as a scripture 
to provoke the presence of God. But we need to understand that the Shekinah of God rested upon that tabernacle on account of total obedience. The presence of God will come only when his conditions are met. Hallelujah. We'll just jump and look at um, just some scriptures. I want to show you something. Exodus 40 verse 16. Just look at verse 16. Thus did Moses according to all that the Lord has commanded him. So did he. It said thus did Moses according to all all not some according to all he did he didn't say he didn't wish he built according to pattern hallelujah verse 19 i'll just read the b part verse 19 as the lord has commanded moses i see it there as the lord has commanded moses go to verse 21 as the lord has commanded moses moses kept doing this thing verse 23 and he set the bread in order upon it before the lord as the lord has commanded him you read on verse 25 27 29 32 hallelujah verse 32 he says as the lord had commanded moses and then something happened from verse 34 when moses had finished and had obeyed totally something happened he said then the cloud covered the tent of congregation and the glory of the lord fill the tabernacle the next verse he said and moses was not able to enter into the tent of the congregation because the cloud abode thereon and the glory of god filled the tabernacle many of us want glory oh glory glory the power of god no 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 there are steps when your obedience is complete the glory of god will come god kept watching that building never for once did his glory show up the Bible says, and so Moses finished. When your obedience is complete, then the Lord will step in to prove himself strong and mighty. Hallelujah. So say after me, obedience completes the faith equation. Say after me, obedience completes the faith equation. There are so many believers who want to be blessed and prosperous. They, they bless God and say, I'm prosperous. But there are conditions. For instance, Malachi chapter 3, the Bible says, will a man rob God? Verse 10. He said, the nation of Israel speaking, he said, yeah, yeah wherein, uh, he said, ye have robbed me. You know, and then they say, wherein have we robbed you? He said, in tithes and offerings. He said, you are cursed. Hallelujah. You are cursed with a curse. For ye have robbed me, even this whole nation. Hallelujah. And then, verse 10 says, bring ye all your tithes all the tithes into the storehouse that there may be meat in my house and prove me now here which said the lord if i will not open prove me by your obedience prove me by your obedience how many believers don't tithe when god bless you you just think god wants your money and then you're getting poor and you're saying lord i don't understand though I'm praying every night. I'm fasting every night. Prayer and fasting will never replace obedience. Are you listening to me? When you pray and fast, if you do it truly, at the end of that fasting, God will show you what is wrong. He will lead you back to the word. Hallelujah. There are many believers who wonder why they find themselves, their thoughts are not ordered by the Lord. The Bible says, how shall a young man keep his way pure? By meditating on the law of the Lord. You can't be watching all the things you are watching and wondering why your mind is always thinking, how come I'm doing this? No. There are many of us that think on wrong thoughts. Are you getting blessed? And the Bible says in Philippians chapter 4 verse 8, it says finally, whatsoever things pure noble good honest of good report if there be any virtue if there be any praise think on these things hallelujah faith when your obedience is complete then you commit god to a performance there are so many people that received dramatic results in their lives. Remember Joshua. 
he was given an instruction go around the city seven times and he obeyed when his obedience was complete what happened the wall of jericho fell down remember in first king in second kings now chapter four from verse one to seven the issue of the widow's oil the bible says the wife of the sons of the prophet someone came to carry her children and she met the servant of god elisha and she said what elisha said what can i do for you what do you have in your house he gave her an instruction and the bible says she obeyed hallelujah one of the greatest stories in the old testament that showed the power of obedience is in second kings chapter 5 the story of naaman verse 1 to 14. the bible makes us to understand that naaman was the captain of of the king of syria the captain of the army he said he was a great man but he was leprous and several things happened and then they got to elisha and elisha gave him an instruction go and wash seven times in jordan and he was offended because he was a noble man hallelujah and after so much conflict verse 14 second kings chapter 5 verse 14 second kings 5 verse 14 it says then when he went down and dipped himself listen all the while he was arguing god said can there not be a better way guess what heaven did not respond isn't it interesting how many of us shout and yell at god and then he just keeps looking at you the moment you obey he steps into the situation he says then he went down and dipped himself seven times in jordan according to the sayings of the man of god and what happened and his flesh came again like unto the flesh of a little child and he was clean only after he obeyed obedience is so important total prompt obedience hallelujah and so very quickly what's the operation of faith the bible says we believe therefore we speak but it's not just the way the king james puts it it's an equation number one search out for the word of god search out for the voice of god that addresses that area that you are trusting god to give you liberty and breakthrough if it's your finances if it's your health if it's victory in life if it's victory over sin if it's victory over demonic oppression stay with the word seek out of the book that's the first step you want to manifest faith you must find the word the second step meditate on the word until you truly believe it meditate stay with that word there are many believers look up for many of us as believers our growth is not constructive we are reading everything in the bible studying everything there's nothing wrong except that you cannot measure your growth hallelujah sometimes i pick a whole month and i say this month is the month where i will peace his faith until it enters my spirit and that's i will study other things but that's going to be my principal study for that month hallelujah sometimes i may want to study the wisdom of god you need to you need to give yourself spiritual projects and pursue them until you get it many people are reading everything you read on marriage today tomorrow you are reading on on increase another time you are reading on this you are so many things so a little little pieces disjointed things let me tell you something you don't build a building by just putting all the tools you build according to pattern imagine if we are building this house i hope you know that zinc is required to make this house complete but imagine if after the foundation then you put zinc on top do you have a house that's what a lot of believers are doing so although we have the right tools they are not arranged properly such that they can command results for us in the realm of the spirit meditate on the word believe the word of god get bible on mp3 hear me get an mp3 you have a phone get messages that can impart faith into your spirit there are lots of koinonia messages here there are lots of eni messages you can get these things put in your phone other messages that are relevant invest in the word of god hallelujah 
while you're lying down in your room just let the bible on tape just just let it pray and while your body is sleeping your spirit is receiving and you have dreams in line with these scriptures that are you will hear it from the realm of the spirit and you will wake up finding out that you are hearing the right thing there is there is a a a renewal of your mind hallelujah there are many people that are so full of the word that even when they lie down when they turn you just hear them turn and say lord i give you praise thy rod and thy staff they don't even know they are talking there are others where you sleep ah you don't come because that's what you are putting in your mind hey i know they go again i better leave me and the next day if they tell you you did that you say no because out of their body see your spirit will give what you have invested in it so when you become full of the word sometimes you will lie down and once you just turn kapo satabakaya and your roommate say ah what, what kind of person is this that even when he's sleeping the word of there is an activity of the word of god then when somebody shouts in your room and says i saw a cat or someone you just turn and say satan stay clear and you lie down and sleep and there's absolute silence and the people in your room put their hands on their head and say we have never seen it in this fashion are you listening to me very very important after that you confess the word you must declare it in the morning in the afternoon sometimes you're walking it doesn't mean you shout and disturb the community as you're walking just say in the name of jesus i am blessed the favor of god follows me everywhere i go i'm blessed in the city i'm blessed in the country the compelling power of the spirit is at work in me everything i lay my hands to do is blessed pray bless say no one offends me the joy of the lord today is my strength i refuse to be offended i have a forgiving heart i am blessed i see something new i hear something new the counsel of god is upon my tabernacle you're just walking and suddenly you find out that as you're stepping into this your life you will begin to frame your reality by the word of god the bible says through faith hebrews chapter 11 verse 3 we understand that the worlds the systems were framed from or by the word of god you frame your reality there are many of us that get up and say kai the way this day is self ah this weather now wow oh, let man hustle you know i've stopped you from using that demonic language never celebrate anybody that calls you a hustler politely tell the person i am not i walk circumspectly the spirit of god grants me precision according to isaiah 30 he said and you shall hear a voice from behind saying this is the way walk in it it's those who do not know and do not understand that grope in darkness but when there is light darkness goes never find yourself saying i'm confused hey especially ladies hey i'm confused. no you are not confused there is a way hallelujah the moment you are you seem um, you know that there's a cloud of confusion or whatever lock yourself see every time you need direction the next thing to begin to do is begin to pray in tongues lord i need to make a decision thank you for your grace thank you for your grace the wisdom of god is at work i'm there's, there's, there's something, I, there's a puzzle I need to solve. There's something, I'm a leader. I need to, the wisdom of God. Hallelujah. And faith comes. And you produce great results. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something about faith. If you are not responding to the word of God, even if you respond, you will not get results. Hallelujah. There are many people that just claim whatever they want is so out of touch with god's word and they force god to answer it for instance someone can just sit down and say lord force shegu to sponsor my lunch no rest for him my lunch he must come out of you and then you say okay josh said these are the following steps what's the first step 
the word i've gotten the word second step meditate i be i see it lunch is coming listen it's important that the things we confess and believe for are in line with the word of god are you listening to me even when the holy ghost speaks to you he will not speak to you outside of the word of god every other revelation must line up with god's word the bible calls it the more sure word of prophecy hallelujah there are many people who are trying to look for what the will of god is there's no point looking for what god has already put in his word for instance finding out whether it's god's will for you to do well in life what is the meaning of that it's clearly written in god's word hallelujah there are certain things that may not be directly written in god's word are you listening to me for instance where to walk there's nowhere that is written here that aaron will walk in guarantee trust bank zaria on the fifth day of the sixth month of this no no that's where that's why the holy ghost was given to us are you following me now and so as you meditate and as you pray the holy ghost communicates he gives you what we call rhema customized word for that situation then you now have a raw material that you can act upon hallelujah so if i'm praying i say lord thank you you meet all my needs and suddenly god just tells me go to shegu now that's a word i listen to me god has spoken to me and then i go to him while i'm taking steps you understand god is already coming you can say ah ah uh, i was thinking about you no 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 is god con because hear me according to please can we have amplified jeremiah 1 verse 12 we'll round up with this scripture jeremiah 1 verse 12 is that possible the bible says from amplified that he is alert and active watching over his word it says thus saith the lord to me you have seen well for i am alert and active watching over my word to perform it god is the one who put these principles so as you obey none of your business whether the results will come or not you just move if it is god and you're moving let me tell you something god is watching over it's like he's an overseer watching for many who are obeying his principles and then he looks and says all right the angels can you see this guy is obeying to the latter let the answer let prove myself faithful and let me tell you something no matter how long you wait for god's word if god spoke to you and it has not come to pass that word has not returned to him yet it's going to be accomplished hallelujah very powerful isaiah chapter 55 verse 10 and 11 the bible tells us something powerful about his word isaiah 55 verse 10 and 11 I really feel sorry for believers who don't have respect for the word of god for as the rain and snow come down from the heavens he said and return not there again but water the earth and make it bring forth and sprout that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater verse 11 so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth hear me he says it shall not return to me void i like amplified without producing any effect useless that means it will never be useless once you find it or god communicates it to you if you complete the faith equation he said but it shall accomplish that which i please and purpose and it shall prosper in the thing for which i sent it so i find from god's word according to jeremiah 29 11 god speaking to me joshua selman and he says i know the thoughts that i think towards you thoughts of good and not of evil to bring you a future and an expected end and i look around me and i see that everything around me does not look like the word of god i choose to let the word of god become my eyes i don't look at my situations and circumstances i choose to let the word of god be my eyes hallelujah the bible says the entrance of that word give it light and it says the eye is the light of the body so the word of god becomes my reality even if it has not manifested 
I say in the name of the Lord Jesus, I look not at the things that are seen, but the things that are unseen. For the things that are seen are temporal, subject to change. But the things that are unseen are eternal. I am still blessed, although there's nothing in my pocket. Lord, I will keep tithing. I love you. You are faithful. It may take a while. And that leads me to just two more points I will add. Add to your faith, patience. There are so many believers that give themselves time of harvest. And when it doesn't come, do you know the Bible says seed time and harvest? It never said harvest time. Genesis 8.22. Seed time. You can always give yourself time to sow. God brings the harvest. It never said harvest time. Many believers give themselves time for harvest. They say in one month, Lord, if this blessing doesn't come, you are not faithful. After one month, it doesn't come. Because he's preparing a table for you. And because you see him part. Rather than just saying, Lord, although I have not seen this, I know that you are God. And I give you praise. I wait. Hallelujah. While the earth remained, look up. Seed time. And what? And what? It is a harvest time. Seed time. Many people are saying, Lord, but I have been sowing. I have been committing myself in your house. You said you would bless me. You said I will enjoy. Lord, nothing in my life seems to work. I bring you a message of hope. If the cloud be full of rain, they will empty themselves. One day, God will embarrass you with blessings. That when you say God is too much, God says, uh, uh, too much for what? You have, you have completed the equation. Left hand must be equal to right hand. That's why I told you, don't envy the people you are seeing. Hear me, friends. Behind every glory, there is a story. You are writing your own story today. And don't be ashamed of it. There are many people that have been trusting God, speaking the word. Someone here may be sitting and say, Lord, but I believe you. I've held on to your word. But it looks like things have not changed. I bring you a message of hope. If God be God, then your story has not finished. How many of you have watched films that you watch and then it looks like they killed the actor? And you're like, ah, this film has finished. And then rain on him and mud. Then later on, they'll show him in the night. They'll show the fingers start moving. Cabo satire. Job said, oh, he slay me. This story is not over. Yet will I praise him. Said, I know my redeemer lives. See, that's why when you see a man of faith, he looks like a madman. When other people are lamenting, he may be in the worst case, but he's giving thanks. A man of faith will look at a situation and just be dancing and be saying, Lord, you are so good. You are worthy of all my praise. Lord, you are so good. You are exalted as the Lord most high. When things are not going right, oh, Lord, you are so good. You are worthy of all my praise. Lord, you are so good. You are exalted as the Lord knows I. How many of you have seen your roommates do that? They lock the door and you see them dancing and sweating. And you're like, now wow. We just check the result. And this person didn't do well. And with tears in their eyes, so they are crying, but they are still dancing. What? What kind of the Bible calls it faith? They know the story is not see god has already gone into your future and he has come back and said i've seen it is blessed let me give you expo your future is blessed why we look not at the things that are seen lord you are so good you are worthy of all my praise lord you are so good you are exalted as the lord Confess 
Say my story is not ended yet. There's grace for me. It doesn't matter what has happened around my life. I know my Redeemer lives. And by the operation of the spirit of faith, I am victorious over my finances, over my family. Come on, speak. Take a table, Katabala. The word that God gave you will come to pass. No devil can take it. The faith in this place. I believe your word. My destiny is great. My destiny is blessed. I am great. Hallelujah. Go ahead and begin to speak God's word over your destiny. Everybody, over your ministry, over your business. I see increase. I see greatness on every side. There is favor. Come on, speak. The spirit of faith. We have been the same spirit of faith as it is written. I believe and therefore speak. We also believe and we speak. God is faithful. Go ahead and confess. I am the head. I'm not the tail. I'm above. I'm not beneath. My life is blessed. My generation will hear my voice. No failure in my life. I am great. The hand of God is upon me. The hand of God is upon me. The favor of God is upon me. I arise. I shine. I arise. I shine. The wisdom of God is upon me. I'm obedient. I'm obedient to the word of God. I'm obedient. The result will come. Favor follows me. Prosperity follows me. For thou, O Lord, I will shield you for me. Are there men of faith in this place? The glory of the Lord is risen upon me. The favor of the Lord is risen upon me. I arise and shine, arise, shine. My light is come, and the glory of the Lord. And the glory of the Lord The favor of the Lord The favor of the Lord is a reason The favor of the Lord Hallelujah Very quickly Pair yourselves into two You're going to prophesy Hallelujah. Pray, hold the hand of somebody. A man or a woman of faith. A brother or a sister. Go ahead and begin to speak over that person's destiny. Prophesy. You are anointed to do it. You are the head and not the tail. Don't give up. Don't give up. The faith of the Son of God. Come on, prophesy. Prophesy upon your brother. Prophesy upon his destiny. Prophesy upon your sister. That's why we are here. Koinonia, the place of prophecy. Your life is blessed. Your life is blessed. I see you at the top. I see you at the top. The nations are calling you blessed. You are a leader. You are prosperous. Increase on every side. Grace on every side. You are powerful. 
you are favored. You are like a well watered garden. Well watered garden. Well watered garden. Every discouragement over your life melts away. Professor, saints of God, generals of the kingdom, custodians of destiny. Professor, command increase, command greatness, command power, command grace. No devil can stop you. Take away the hands of Satan over your brother's life, over your sister's life. No more delay. Your faith is working. Your faith is working in your office, in your class, in your marriage, in your relationship, in your ministry, in your business. Faith, the victory that overcomes. Hallelujah. 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 Let me tell you something. The next set of world shakers. Hear me. I know what I'm saying. Oh. I know what I'm saying. Let me tell you something. The next set of the next set of apostles, prophets, generals, owners of groups, conglomerates, entrepreneurs, media moguls, giants in industry. Let me tell you something, brothers and sisters, I speak this unto your destiny. I speak this unto your life. own the TV station. You will own the airport. God will give you. See, let me tell you. You don't look like it. Faith, the purchasing power will bring it to you. You will feed nations. A time will come. Let me tell you something. Presidents will visit you to receive loan to salvage their nation. Oh, believe it tonight. Believe it. Hallelujah. There are many of you here that on account of the grace of God upon your life, people will travel, travel, leave countries, travel to your place. Let me tell you, you will stop wasting your time. There are many of you, you will be so relevant in this country. You will stop using visa to travel. Hallelujah. I said it the other time and I'll say it again. There are some of you that your house will become a notable place for God's presence. Hear me. People will come and say, where is that house that we hear has the favor of God? Where is that house? Where is that house? Everybody will be willing to to put your children in school they'll say come to our school it's a big don't pay school fees come you don't know what god is doing in this place let me tell you the price for your future is what you are paying now that's why god is training us god is building us hear me look up stop envying people who are already living their future they are barely surviving and that's their harvest the difference between you and them is small yet you are still sowing let me tell you when you begin to manifest you you know something hear me we're discussing up till this morning i think i jimmy and jangfa were just talking at home and we were examining the generation of our parents and we found out that all of the people who had a mindset within that range there was there was a mindset that they had and i looked at what the level of success that they have accomplished with what they knew 
you can imagine what we are going to do do you know some things we suffer today our children will only know that once upon a time there was such a thing called divorce once upon a time hallelujah that's what God is doing hear me no matter how painful it is stand to the end are you listening to me keep investing in the world I know people who probably had to trek here from school nobody knew but while you were trekking you were just praying let me tell you something a true story God is my witness there was a day in this Zaria I trek from you know the roundabout near Chicken Republic I trek from there to aviation and while I was walking I was just speaking the nations will hear my voice I bring a message of hope to someone tonight hear me you may be lost in this crowd and nobody can see you nobody even knows what your name is but let me tell you something the faith of God will bring you to a point of prominence your parents may not be known nobody in your society may be known for some of you you may be the only person around I bring you a message oh. I bring you a message tonight I bring you a message of your ladder will be greater your ladder will I'm prophesying over you your ladder will be greater than that's my prophecy for you your ladder will be greater your ladder will be greater For the last time, say my ladder will be greater. Professor, my ladder will be greater. My ladder will be greater. My ladder will be greater. So, stop being under pressure to prove to people you are successful. You already are. The word of God says so. Are you listening to me? stop rating yourself like a second class citizen oh you are royalty so says the king of kings greater than every president are you listening to me before we round up i'd like you to walk to 10 people and tell them i salute you you are royalty 10 people come on walk to someone i salute you you may not look like it but you are royalty you are royalty. I salute you. Your future is bright. I know it. I know you are great. I don't doubt it. I salute you. I know your life is great. We are colleagues in the realm of greatness. We are colleagues. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Alaska de Bashka na kata branda kete katos kete branda kata pakotos koto brekete kete kata. The phase of development, Lord, grant me the discipline.